Greetings, greetings, greetings for Teaching Tuesday or Two Tuesday, whichever one you want to call it today, because this is one of the ones that I'm going to ask your help for at the end. Coach T, listen, I have to write a paper on leadership. I have wrote several papers on leadership, but they're more specific from the teacher standpoint or the presenter standpoint that's telling me what I have to do to moderate. This time, it's wide open. And I... I, I have so many thoughts racing through my mind when it comes to leadership. What is a leader first? What is an effective leader? What's, does it matter? Is a bad leader a good leader? Could a bad leader be a good leader? Why do we follow leaders? Um, okay, that's the basic stuff, right? Then, hey, group thinking in leadership versus dictatorship thinking. Or, hey, teams versus group motivation to inspire leadership um okay now, you know what emotional intelligence how do we want our leader to lead us what what's the most important traits and characteristics of leaders i don't know all these are you know so start racing stuff oh you know what are leaders better in small groups or are leaders better in good big groups should leaders lead only large groups? No. So you start thinking about all kinds of stuff. This point is where you're going to help me. You know, I need you to comment below of different areas where you think about when you start thinking about leadership. You know, emotion. I did look up trends. You know, emotional intelligence is one of those areas. I did think about past leaders versus um, present leaders, the difference between them two, and, and why we may need to, um, you know, Look at both of them and, and compare and contrast and see what characteristics was good, what traits was good. But then it's so many different leaders. How do you narrow it down to a few, right? This is a large, vast area of information that's very, 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 very diverse in what you can write about, right? So now it's just a matter about focusing on one thing and putting it on paper. And the one thing that keep coming up in my head is, um, I ain't going to tell you. Why don't you comment below? Because this will give me an opportunity for you to comment on this post. Tell me what you think about when you come to leadership. Give me some ideas and concepts that I could write about. And maybe you'll confirm what I'm thinking. And I'll let you know after y'all come in alone. So let me give y'all a week of come in and, and putting stuff in here and let me know. But I got to start my paper. So hopefully y'all do it faster than later so that I can go ahead and get started. Coach T, why would it be great? For teaching Tuesday or two Tuesday, we're talking about the resources of a leader. You know, what it takes to be a leader. Who is a leader to you? Why do you follow this leader? What makes this person great? What makes this person effective? What, what, how should they lead? Should they leave dealing with people first? Should they leave dealing with tasks first? Should they leave with organizational skill sets? Should they be examples? Should they just, hey, do as I say, not as I do? What, what is it? What's your thoughts? I mean, these are some very broad, common thoughts, base level, not hard, high art of thinking, just something out there I'm throwing out there on top of my head that just, I think that most people will understand right off the bat before I start getting to the organizational skill sets and essentials and all that other stuff. All right? But that's what I write about. Now, that's when you bring those thoughts in there. You know, I think about the broadest because I want to think about the smallest thing first. Coach T, why would you be great? That's not great future.